What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 238 and uh, we start today's episode off by seeing that Oscar Polo has a transfer over here from Bayern Munich. Of course, we say no, we're keeping him here and also Kevin Bartley has accepted his contract. So the 89 rated centre-back has returned after a six-month absence. He's come in for £40 million and, you know, that's £29 million we've made from just losing him for six months. Pretty incredible business, isn't it? Bartley's back and I, again, I know some people don't like me signing old players I totally get that but as this is probably going to be the last series uh, season of this series we may as well get him back because he's an absolute machine and uh, to be honest he's awesome and he'll definitely be helping us or hoping to help us uh, lift a few more trophies before the series is finished and also City weren't happy with the deal we put in for Jack Butland so we make a new one and we'll wait and see what they say because as I said in the last episode this squad is already unbelievably strong there isn't really too many areas we can look at but getting a really good backup goalkeeper might be a good option for us just in case we see uh, Ferranetti get an injury Butland will be there only two ratings lower than uh, than Ferranetti and yeah I mean it's, it's just one of those things really we don't need him it seems like a bit of a waste of money but at the end of the day uh, there's just nowhere else to really look. Do you know what I mean? We, we, there's no point in buying youth scouts because we've already got two five-star experience, five-star judgment ones. Even if we buy another one, it's kind of useless because we won't have enough time to get really good young players. No point in buying an amazing scout because we already know who the best players in the world are. And we may as well just spend it on players. And, you know, I, I may as well pick a player who could actually be useful sometime down the line to us. You know, maybe Butland could play if Ferranetti gets injured or whatever, or if Ferranetti's having some bad form. We may as well sign him because there's nowhere else really we can spend the money yet we still got quite a few to uh quite a few um quite a few million to burn through but uh anyway here's a uh you score monthly report here you can take a look at how the players are doing of course those players probably never get into our squad for this year this season which will probably be the last one in the series also the board wants to win the league we already knew that and also francisco de paula is on his way to cardiff for 1.1 million pounds he's 21 years old a 70 rated striker he actually looks okay but he'll never get into our squad so we may as well let him go and uh, just cash in a little bit and get a little bit more money for him and also we take on Cagliari here for our third and final pre-season game. And of course I did play all the kids because all of these guys are either on the transfer list or on the loan list. And I'm really hoping they'll have a good game and maybe one of the clubs will look at them and say, you know, one of the clubs in the game will say, hey, they play quite well in pre-season, we'll loan them. But of course, as I've said before, I find it very difficult to loan players out in career mode. But uh, anyway, Spearing looks as though he might be on his way to Blackburn, a 21-year-old centre-back, 70 overall. Uh, I asked for £1 million, that's 25 grand more than his valuation, and we wait and see what they say. Blackburn, a newly promoted side, and also uh, Inter Milan want Junior Milan, but we say no, because he's quite a decent player for us. And also, uh, De Paula has gone to Cardiff for £1.1 million. I am totally okay with that. Uh, also, as well, I decided to go in for Raheem Sterling of Liverpool. He's 27 years old on the game, 84 overall. Looks very good. I wasn't really sure between him and Zaha, but I know Sterling does well, whereas Zaha is sometimes quite inconsistent on career mode. Sterling always seems to do as well. So, I for going for Sterling and at the end of the day this is just for cover he'll be a bench player and nothing else really he'll play in some midweek games and so on but he'll probably never really get into the first 11 but even so he looks quite good and uh, wait and see what Liverpool say also uh, Blackburn have matched a £1 million counter off for George Spearing totally okay with that he can go to Blackburn and we'll take a million for our kitty and uh, also as well uh, we've got two transfer rules here one for Dimasquitez and one for Robinson uh, West Brom want George Dimasquitez on loan that's totally fine with me he can go there and get some experience and also as well, uh, Glenn Robinson was wanted by Monaco for £19.5 million. We asked for £99.5 million. I spent £40 million on him. I may as well get some uh, some good money for him if he's going to go. And also, Jack Butland has accepted his contract. So... Butlin takes a 10 grand wage cut to come and sit on our bench. Gotta love career mode. Uh, Butlin's coming in and uh, McCarthy's going the other way as well. Totally fine with that. Uh, we're replacing an older goalkeeper for a younger one who's better. And uh, we're also getting a better backup goalkeeper. And as you can see by his stats, 85 rated, 29 years old. Looks very decent. Looks very, very decent. And uh, again, he'll just do on the bench. And um, I know to some people it's a waste of money. I totally get that. But this is probably going to be the last season. And at the end of the day, we've got money to burn 
burn basically i've got nowhere else to spend the uh, spend the money and no one else to spend the money on so i may as well uh we've put in a new bid for uh, raheem sterling and also danny Ings has been transfer listed because we haven't offered him a new contract which is really frustrating but i guess i'll offer him a new one in a minute because at the end of the day he is a good player we may as well keep him happy uh desi looks like he could go on his uh, on loan to yeovil but of course as he's included in the sterling deal i don't particularly want to risk that and also we reject the bid of uh, 5.5 million pounds from sunderland for danny reich so i want to keep him here and also monaco won't match the uh, the counter offer glenn robinson and we've also sold george spearing to blackburn for one million pounds totally happy with that i don't mind he can go and there you go and also we offer uh, offer danny Ings a new contract just so we can get on the transfer list and uh, we may as well since we've got the money to burn and we'll wait and see what he says and uh, also here is a look at our squad for the upcoming season five star team i've pushed eric d up to play holding mid bartley is now going to play center back and glenn robinson at 40 million pounds is now going to sit on our bench but yeah it looks like an unbelievably good squad it looks unbelievably good I, I can't see where I can look to sign a better player really the whole team looks incredible it really does and of course the, even the bench looks incredible and of course Sterling's probably going to come in and replace McCola on the bench and even the Rezies look good we can make three first 11s in this squad that could probably compete for at least a Champions League place in this squad that's how incredible it is you know it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous we could probably make three first 11s that are all good enough to qualify for the top four and um, yeah this year you know my aim to end the season off and end the series off must be to get a treble and hopefully I can do it this year. I, I definitely think we can. With the resources we've got, with the strength and depth we have, we should be able to do it. But anyway, we take on Liverpool here for the first game of the season in the Community Shield. So... We're the Premier League holders, Liverpool are the FA Cup holders. So we take them on here, and we can take a, uh, take a quick look at Raheem Sterling as well, as he made the starting eleven for them, and see if we'd like to uh, pursue our interest in him. And yeah, first uh, first chance at winning our first piece of silverware of the season. And you know, to be honest, I'm never really that fussed about the Community Shield, but it's always really nice to win it anyway. And of course, there were some debuts for some players in this club, uh, including Ferinetti and in goal, who makes a really good save there. And as he throws the ball out to Oxlade Chamberlain, Chamberlain finds Shaw. Shaw goes down the left hand. Side. He plays the ball forward towards Scott Triggs, and how about this for a ball by Scott Triggs? The man with no legs picks out Kelvin, and he drills it into the bottom corner, makes it 1-0, and 8 minutes in, 42 seconds in, we're already 1-0 up, and what a fantastic ball that was by Triggs. The finish by Kelvin was great as well, but look at that for a ball by Scott Triggs, absolutely it's perfect. Kelvin runs onto it, makes it 1-0, and it's the perfect start here at Wembley, and in the 39th minute, Liverpool tried to respond, Radosevic finds Raheem Sterling, he finds your shield, but it does find the back of the net and I have to say I think Ferranetti making his debut probably should have saved that one but he didn't and it goes into the back of the net so Liverpool won, Millwall won and they are back in, uh, back on level turns but in the 45th minute they almost made it 2-1 but thankfully for us Coutinho's shot went wide in the post and out for a goal kick and in the 59th minute with the score still one apiece, Ferranetti plays the ball forward towards Luke Shaw, uh, Shaw collects the ball and slides it through towards Oxlade Chamberlain down the left hand side, uh, stakes on uh, the Uruguayan defender, beats him with the Berber spin, runs clear 1-1 one one, but it's a really good save by Courtois and Liverpool managed to get the ball away so still 1-1 one one as things stand and in the 79th minute Brian Carrasco collects the ball plays the ball over top towards Oscar Polo and how about this, wonderful first touch with the chest and what a finish with his 5 star weak foot, right foot what a great finish that was by Oscar Polo to make it 2-1 and you can see why I rejected a bid from Bayern Munich in this episode, this guy is an absolute monster, I love the 5 star skills, I love the 5 star weak foot, look at that for a chest and a wonderful finish with that weaker right foot into the top corner and it's Liverpool 1, Millwall 2 and we're in front with just 10 minutes to go so brilliant finish by Oscar Polo and we're 2-1 up and in 90 minutes the game was being closed out here, you see Eric Dio win the ball, play it forward towards the runner Brian Carrasco down the right hand side, takes on Ilari the Portuguese centre half, keeps on going swings in across, who's there? It's Oscar Polo he completes the game, he completes the win it's Liverpool 1, Millwall 3 two late goals for Oscar Polo means we win the Community Shield and yeah it's our first piece of silverware this season and again I'm not really that first I don't care too much obviously but it's still nice to win a trophy straight away and of course we're in five tournaments this year the Community Shield the Capital One Cup the FA Cup the league and the Champions League and we've already won the first one so you know I want to treble this year I want the FA Cup the Champions League and the Premier League but just imagine if we can win five trophies in our last season of career mode that would be absolutely incredible well there's one down already and there's four to go so uh, yeah good win for us there two late goals from Polo Seal 
seal it. And yeah, we do get to lift Community Shield. And of course, you know, we still got about 20 to 25 million pounds left to spend. And I really don't know what to do with this club. I really don't. We've already got the most incredible squad. We've got an incredible first 11, probably the best in the world. Um, you know, certainly the best in, world you'd, uh, in the world, you'd say. We've got an amazing bench. Uh, we're about to add Sterling to that, or you'd assume we're about to add Sterling to that bench. We've also got a really strong reserve lineup. I don't really know what to do with this money. It's it's surprising, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, look to sign maybe one or two more players. Definitely Sterling. I'm definitely open to sign Sterling uh, before the uh, the transfer window ends. But uh, maybe one or two more players as well. I don't really know. But I'm not looking, look, not looking to make any big changes anyway. But uh, yeah, Guterres, list of Community Shield. We've won our first piece of silverware this season. It's not a major trophy, of course, but it's a trophy regardless. I'm glad we've lifted it. And uh, yeah, this could be the start of a magical, magical last season in career mode. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like because it's much appreciated and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of career mode very soon.